Back today on September 18th, 2012, more with the iPhone 5. I know it's probably been beat to death all over the internet and anywhere you go. You can't stop hearing about the iPhone 5. Little store, I was in the AT&T store over the weekend. I came out holding my 4S in my hand and a bunch of people were walking by and they all stopped and looked at it and then looked at me and said, is that the 5? I said, no, it's not available until Friday the 19th. And they kind of looked like they didn't believe me, but they kept going. Anyways, this time, more news. Speaking of news, Apple stock, as we read about the other day on Mac Rumors, uh, closing at 699.80, I think. Today, markets are closed. It broke 700. It's up two and a quarter point or so. We're at 701.91. So that is incredible growth. If I click the two year here, we'll be able to see that it has just done so well. That's the Dow. Let's click Apple. <laughs> there we go. It's nearly. Um, just nothing but increase. You know, we had a bad month there in July or whatever. It dropped uh, 100 or two points, but that looks like it's no big deal. We're at 702. Apple's doing really well. Uh, and no, I do not own stock. Somebody asked me, uh, I, I wish I knew 10 years ago to buy Apple stock, but uh, of course that's how it works. So we're going to start talking about Geekbench scores. There were some, well, a couple of people have gotten their hands on a five somehow. Actually, we'll talk about that first. Here it is, the first kind of unboxing. We've got a few photos. The box actually looks bigger, probably due to the bigger phone. And it actually looks more like the iPod Classic box from years and years and years ago. It's that same kind of color, of course, displaying the product on the front. I, I have no doubt that the graphics are beautiful like any Apple product that has ever existed uh, in the packaging. I don't know of any other company that has better packaging than Apple does. But uh, as we can see, there's a couple different things inside. Of course, the phone's been taken out on this photo here. And we can see the new ear pods, which have replaced uh, Apple's older headphones. Um, I have yet to use Apple headphones in the last five years, so maybe I'll give the earpods a shot. Maybe we'll talk about that when we review the five in just about a week, a couple days. Uh, so those take up, looks like about half the packaging. And then, of course, we still have our wall outlet to USB adapter for charging, and then that new lightning connector down at the bottom for syncing and charging if you don't use Wi-Fi to sync. And then there's a picture of a 5 next to a 4S. We can see it's just a little bit taller, same kind of camera layout. It says iPhone's got the Apple on it. Looks like they may have have, uh, have removed all of this information down here. Read mine, see what it says. FCC, don't throw it in the trash. And then it's got a bunch of icons and tons of numbers back there. Uh, so maybe that's been kind of removed. I think the Verizon iPhone 4, when that came out, they got rid of all that crap. So maybe we'll see that with the 5. I would like to see a white one personally. I can't wait to see mine and see how it stacks up. Little hint, yes, I did order another white one. Uh, so there's that article. And then uh, some specs have been launched with the iPhone 5, or not launched, but been revealed with the iPhone 5's processing unit. It's the uh, Apple A6 chip. It's ARM, Samsung, uh, you know, a bunch of manufacturers work on this thing. Anyways, we're going to start talking about the, the iPhone 4 real quick to start with. This is the first iPhone that I had. It's the first iPhone of modern iPhones. Uh, the iPhone 4 was a solo core Apple A4 processor at 1.0 gigahertz underclock to around 730, 800 megahertz. And it was pulling a Geekbench score of around 367. That's with a half a gig of memory. The iPhone 4S nearly doubled that score to 636 with a dual core 800 megahertz processor. It's underclocked from 1 gigahertz and we still have 512 megs of RAM. And then here we have the iPhone 5 with a Geekbench score of 1601. That is the highest smartphone score to date, unless we're including a Galaxy 3 on Jelly Bean or whatever the latest uh, Android firmware is or software that is not currently installed on most of those devices, to my understanding. We do have a gigabyte of RAM that we're working with here, and that 1601 score is uh, more than twice the iPhone 4. S. So about 250% faster in terms of processing. It is a solo, it's a dual core, one processor, of course. It looks like it's not underclocked anymore. It's 1.02 gigahertz, and of course that's on iOS 6. A little bit of reference, 1601 on an iPhone 5 and 757 on an iPad 3. So that's twice as fast as the A5X chip and the 1 gig of RAM found in that device. So the iPhone 5 is really going to fly. Without that, I'm not going to carry this video on too much longer. Thanks for watching. Leave me your thoughts and comments, anything you want to leave below. And now, finally, we'll talk to you in the iPhone 5 boxing in unboxing in just about two days, three days. Stay tuned for iOS 6 tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.